Hi, my name is Shrey, and today I'll be explaining question 2 from Lee Code's bi-weekly contest 30, range sum of sorted subarray sums. So the question gives you an input integer array, the length of the array, and two boundaries, and you have to first calculate all subarray sums, and then you need to add the subarray sums given the two boundaries. And I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but let's just hop in straight into example one so I can explain the solution. So example one gives you an input integer array of one, two, three, four. It gives you the length of the array and it gives you two inclusive boundaries. So the first part in explanation says all subarray sums are these. So let's first find all subarray sums. And the way I did that was by creating an array list to store the subarray sums. After that, I simply used two pointer brute force to add all subarray sums to the array list. And I know that this isn't the most efficient way, but because I was in a contest and it was timed. This was a solution that I came up with. After that, we need to sort the array list. Um, I can show you what this is in example in example one. So once we add all subarray sums to the array list, we would have this. And then after that, we would need to sort the array list. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and ten, I think. Yep. So now that the now that the array list is sorted, we need to use any type of loop. I use a for loop um, starting at left index and ending at right index to add the elements in the array list and note that the left index and right index in this question are inclusive so because it says left equals one we don't start at element one we start at we start at the first number so which would be element zero and right equal five um, we would be ending at element four so that means we would say one plus two plus three plus three plus four that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that equals 13. And that's what we'd return. We'd return an integer value um, in example 1 being 13. So that's the solution for question 2. If this video helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. As always, I will leave a link to the code down below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.